am waking up and I am growing up. I am experiencing a transformation in the relationship I am choosing to life. I am choosing a new posture, a posture of freedom. This freedom is both a gift I have been given and a relationship I am exercising in return. I am experiencing the world and me and all of life as new. I am growing up. From this transformed perspective, it is foolish for me to do otherwise. Maybe it is time for all of us to grow up. The world's coming of age is no longer an occasion for polemics and apologetics. Within the cleansing backdrop of silence, I practice withdrawing my attention from the thoughts of my self-absorbed, controlling ego mind. I practice withdrawing attention from the powerful, distracting feelings of my personal human heart. I practice withdrawing attention from the rigid, habit-limiting box of personality. I allow my attention to fall upon the presence of the greater reality within which I dwell. In this interior practice, I remove myself from the busyness of a fleeting, finite world into a silent presence that is forever. I am delivered to a new place. In this new place, a new me is becoming available for transformation. I become available to be inspired, guided, and used by that one which is greater. I try to focus on the bigger picture. In the bigger scheme of things, this doesn't mean anything. So when I focus on that, um, it helps a lot. And I just realize that this too shall pass. As I am able to face my own whole self, both all parts of myself, light and dark, I'm able to accept the light and darkness in other people. And everything that I was unhappy about didn't really matter. I still have some emotional ups and downs. They certainly aren't what they used to be. I can be silent and at peace even when the emotional storms are raging. I'm much more reflective now. I much more live internally now than I did before. There's some uh, illusion that I want to live in but I can't and, that's, and I'm always thinking about that. And so I'm always living in like this dual state between my reality and this illusion. So it's always, it's always stretching my brain. And th that, that always has made me crazy, but I, I, in a way I almost love it. All inclusive, none of that exclusive stuff anymore. And I was gently being taught to really truly take responsibility for my thoughts, my words, my actions. I could no longer point a finger anywhere. In changing and recognizing I'm the ones responsible for what's going on inside now. One thing that comes out in myths is that at the bottom of the abyss comes the voice of salvation. The black moment is the moment when the real message of transformation is going to come. At the darkest moment comes the light. I have unusual, I mean not unusual, I have dreams. I dream and I'm all conscious of dreams and, you know, and so on. I'll dialogue with my dreams and, and uh, wake up enough to say, you know, what's going on here? And then my dream will sort of help me see, you know, whatever. Dream world is a, important, but it's a silent, solitary ritual or activity. So silence in the ruin of, you know, of contemplation is what I, is just listening and looking, seeing it in a different way. Whatever it is, be it you or my wife or a tree or whatever. And that's again the poet's genius is the capacity to see and then let that sort of swirl into a magical perception, uh, articulation of that. Silence and observing or listening. 
it's one thing to say silence or um, listening or observing. It's another thing to develop the skills. Sam Green, example of this. He says, what, we, he was talking about, his, the, about the methodology of you know, being a poet and so on. He says, I go out the front door and I list 10 things that I see, 10 things that I hear, 10 things that I smell, 10 things that I taste, right there. Then I walk 100 feet and I'll do it all over again. He said, try it sometime. Be amazed what it does. <laughs> you know, make notes of what you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you're feeling, you're se sensing. But anyway, that kind of training in just being aware of the universe as it shows up in your life. Oh, I love silence. Sleep is simply a way to let go. And, you know, I've also learned that if I sleep or run or lift weights or a big one for me is riding a horse. There is something more than you and much bigger, much more powerful, much smarter, much more loving. By going to sleep or taking my mind away from that, I'm allowing my mind to open to a greater source. And I'm getting my biases, my criticisms, my fears, my misperceptions, getting all that out of the way. In this transformation, my boundary-defined personality and ego self is diminishing. I am participating in the flow of an infinite connection. Externally, nothing has changed. Internally, nothing is the same. I am transformed. This silence permeates every moment of my life. I encounter its presence in every grocery checkout lane, every boisterous sporting event, every traffic jam, every war zone, every business meeting, every crowd and every party and every intimate relationship. The silence is present throughout the night and in each moment of the day. The silence is present at the beginning of life and my first breath. It is present to receive my final breath. In my transformed life, I am aware of this presence always. I practice this awareness. Contemplative connection is, in a way, simply the preference for the desert, for emptiness, for poverty. One has begun to know the meaning of contemplation when she intuitively and spontaneously seeks the dark and unknown path of aridity in preference to every other way. The contemplative is one who would rather not know than know, rather not enjoy than enjoy. Rather not have proof that the source of all loves her. She accepts the love of ultimate reality and trust in defiance of all apparent evidence. This is the necessary condition and a very paradoxical condition for the mystical experience of the reality of the one presence and of this one's love for us. Only when we are able to let go of everything within us, all desire to see, to know, to taste, and to experience this one, do we truly become able to experience that presence with the overwhelming conviction and reality that revolutionize our entire inner life. It is time for me to step out into the depth, into the deep waters of my own real life, and discover the practices that will sustain my connection to this greater reality. Join me in this deep place, this still place. Come along. <laughs>